I'm literally in front of you right now. No, I'm literally ahead of you. Wait, how did you just... I am so far ahead of you. How did you get ahead of me? Hey! Hey, get back here! Oh, yes, sir. Uh, that's me. Oh, gosh. Yeah, you realize why I'm so fast? How? Because I got the speed goggles on. And also you got the bling on. Yeah, I know. It kind of weighs me down, though, because it's super heavy. Take uh, All right, fine. There you go. It's off. Yeah, that stuff was kind of weighing me down. I feel like I have a mark on my forehead now. <sighs> Anyways, did you notice that Mia has a bunch of those blocks over there? Yeah, I was going to mention it, but that just looks like it's girl things. Mia! <coughs> Wait, is she stuck? <coughs> I think it's Zoe underneath. <coughs> Zoe? Should we help them? Uh, no. Cash, why are you debating? I'm going to help them. Okay, fine, fine. Zoe? <coughs> Zoe, I'm going <coughs> to... Mia, how are you stuck in there? Break that block! Uh, there we go. Hey, everyone! How did you guys just get trampled on a bunch of blocks? Well, I turned a blast furnace into a bunch of colored blocks, and uh, we got stuck. Oh, were you rainbow maxing? I wanted to see how many rainbow blocks I could get around my house. It didn't end well. Mia, this isn't the full rainbow. This is just blue, red, purple, and yellow. This is all of our colors! The only colors that matter. I guess you're right. Oh, yeah! Look, here's my little furnace! Oh, gosh. Girls, you need to stop wasting stuff. <laughs> I agree. Shady, you're looking at the wrong way. How does he know where to go? Nico, get over here, bro. Shady, I'm behind you. Shady! Oh, ow. Nah, he just ran into glass. Ow! That must have hurt. Oh, man. You know what? You get over here, bro. Stop running from me. You're not walking towards anyone. Bro cannot see. Shady's lost. Why does he have a blindfold on? I don't know. Must be a new challenge he's trying to do. Hey, where are you guys? Okay, this is not funny. Shady, we're over here. Shady, over here! Oh, over there? Okay. Shady has no sense of direction. All oh. right. Ow! Yo! What? <laughs> Yo, what the- What in the world is going on? Mia, what are you gonna do with all these blocks? I don't know. I just wanted to have all the blocks placed without me using my hands. You know, I have an idea. What? I was thinking it was about time we build you guys some statues. <gasps> really? Wait, really? Yeah, but the last time we did that, ugh, it didn't really go so well. Yeah, I remember. Shady is the worst at building statues. Listen, guys, I think that we should probably build some statues. Shady, wrong way! I'll get them. Oh, my gosh. All right, you know what? I'll take you guys over there. Come on, follow me! Okay. All right, and we're here. Whoa. Also, don't worry. This is in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, it's fine. I'm glad you put bedrock. Shady, why do you still have that blindfold on? All right, listen, bro. I don't even know what you're talking about. You're not facing me, Shady. You really want to get up in my face like that, bro? What you gonna do? No one's in your face. Shady, just punch it in the air. Come here, no, get over here. Yo, what's he doing? Where are you at? Where are you at? Oh, he walked to the creative circle. He's happy. All right, Shady, just pick a plot, okay? Am I floating? Each one of us are gonna build each other. And you know what? I built Cash last time, so I wanna build Zoe. I wanna build Shady. I wanna build Maya. I'm gonna build Cash. Her name is Mia Shady. All right, I'm going to the creative circle. Let's go! Nah. All right, and make sure you guys use the one color, okay? Wait, so do I build Cash in orange or red? No, you're supposed to build them in red. And I'm building Zoe in purple. I'm building Shady in the yellow. What did you say, Cash? In the yellow. Zoe, can you come over here real quick? Come in. Shady, you're building in my plot! Huh? Shady, stop. Bro does not know. You're ruining my build. I'm putting you over here. Oh my goodness. Where am I? Am I the blue zone? Are you messing with me? No, you're making me a... Oh, okay. Zoe, yeah? can you place a figure of you right here so I can get a reference photo? Okay, fine. Thank you, Zoe. All right. While Zoe's standing there and getting the reference photo, I might as well just make her. All right. You know what? I think she has some purple socks as legs, and I think it's light purple. So I'm going to get a light purple block. I actually think light blue is a pretty good match for that color. So I'm doing it. All right. And this time, I'm also going to make this pretty big right here. Just like this. And I'm also gonna get a wand right here. And I'll select here to here. And let's move this two blocks that way. Now, what we could do, we could go right here and go right here. I get blue terracotta. It plays it like that. Are they seriously playing rap music at Whataburger? What are you saying, Shady? Is Shady even on the plot? Nah, he's at Whataburger. Nah, I have no idea what he's doing. All right. Anyways, Zoe. Does that work? Zoe, that does not work. What is Oh my gosh. All right, since Zoe doesn't know how to do it, I guess I'm gonna have to do it myself or something. I'm gonna continue placing it right here, and that should be, I think, one more layer of her socks would look good, like this. And then I'm gonna need to get her color. So let's get her skin color, and I think birch place will work good for that. Let's see if there's another one. Or stripped birch wood, and I think this is a good color for her legs. And you know, yeah, I'll probably use the stripped birch wood. That would be good. All right, now we could just make the walls like that. Builds up on each side, and her legs are pretty much almost done. Zoe's definitely more complicated to build than Cash, because Cash is literally just red. So, he was so easy to build, but Zoe has some complexities, but that's gonna be pretty easy to build, because I am Nico, and I am the best builder. That is not true. Alright, who just said that? That was Shady. But yeah, I know that was you. That was literally Shady. I know that was you. I know that was you. I have ears, you know. You do not! Now I can move on to building her hair, and I think I'm gonna use magenta wool for that. Alright, now, and wait, where did this come from? Oh, this is perfect! 
pizza. This is like a scale. Oh, wait, this makes it so much better to see the scale of things. All right, I think I'm doing good with the scale for now, so we should be good. Oh, wait, I need to get a color for a shirt, and I think that would be pink. So we have pink for a shirt right here, and we can build our arms out like this. All right, I think our jacket's gonna be a little bit complex, but nothing that I can't do. So her arms are gonna go down the side of her like this. Perfect. And now I'm gonna continue building like so. Oh, gosh, her hair is gonna be a little bit complex, but you know what? We'll get to that in a bit. But now I'm gonna build, build whatever this thing is. I think this is like an undershirt, and we'll build it like this big. So it's gonna go from here to here, and then we'll just fill the whole backside with it as well. And then on the front, we're gonna have her hair, so I'll leave some space for that. So now I can just build all around like this. And this is looking really good. I gotta leave this middle part somewhat hollow just because we're gonna place some furniture inside of her body so that it's like a living room. All right, now I can build her hair out like so. Now we could go like this. Actually, no, this won't be too hard. I just gotta make sure that it's proportional. All right, and then now I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Let's look at that and let's go like this. And then now her shirt should be pretty easy, which it's just a white shirt. So now I can go with the concrete. Now I can place in the white. All right, this is looking a lot better now. All right, and we could even have some white concrete go like this and and then, hmm, is this a good body size for Zoe? Uh, I think she should be a little bit taller than that. All right, so it's gonna be taller than whatever the reference photo is, but it'll work. Now I could just build her hair up like this. Add some details in the middle. And I'll add the shading and all the other details at the very end. I just gotta get the base body done. All right, perfect. Now I can start making her hands. And let's actually get the world edit right here. And let's go from here to here. And set the walls of this to pink wool. Bam! All right, and then I'm gonna go over here. And then do the same thing. Like this! That is actually looking really good. And now I can make Zoe's head. And I think Zoe's head might be a little bit big, but it'll be fine. I think Zoe's head should come out two blocks like this. And now I want to build her hair on the sides of her face like so. And we should probably just make this whole thing magenta concrete. Just so we can get the dimensions first. All right. Bam! That should be a good size for her head. This is looking really proportional, actually. Now I need to fix up the back of her as well, because I just realized I missed out on a lot of stuff. Let me just set the whole back to white concrete. And I can even see the back side of her as well, which her whole back side is pretty much just her hair. So I'm also just going to set this all to magenta concrete. All right, that should be good. Oh, gosh, I think I need to add some texturing as well. I'm going to put some magenta wool scattered throughout this thing. I think that adds a lot of detail. So let's go like this. And that's the back side good. All right, now we can go back to the front. And oh, gosh, we need to make Zoe's actual face. And we need to color this in like so. And then we need to go on the side to make sure that she has a face like this. Perfect. I don't want to make her forehead too big, but I think that should be good. I think also some of her hair goes like that, so we want to go like that. And also, I'm going to expand her head like this maybe a little bit. All right, that looks good. Oh my gosh, wait, this is actually coming along really well. All right, now I can make her eyes, and I think her eyes are made out of this color and a darker color. So we can go with light blue wool, and that should be good. And now we can place this right here, and then this, and this right here, and then we need white. All right. Oh, gosh, that did not look good. That should be better. Bam! Oh, gosh, she looks like an alien. I need to fix that. A little bit better right there. Now, I need to place an even darker blue right here. And these are for her eyebrow details. Boom! Oh, wait, that looks much better. All right, and then we can make her hair extend outwards right here just a little bit. Perfect. Oh, this is coming together really well. And now her hair could come along like this. And now that looks more like Zoe. Maybe I should give Zoe a smiley face. I think I'm going to do it with some slabs. So let's go right here and get some slabs. Now, you can get some reinforced oak wood slabs. And, oh, gosh. That does not look good. That looks better a little bit. All right, now we could go like this. And actually, wait. I want to make this a dark pig right here just for her mouth. Now that is always face. That actually looks a lot better. I have to finish all of the finer details of her. So let's fill in all the edges that we missed right here. Let's go in on the sides and let's expand her wrist like this. Because I know she has those details right there. Then we could go in on the bottom and add her hand like this. Perfect. And then now we go over here and we can add the edges just like this again. And then add her hand. Like this. That should be good. Alright, so now that's her hands done. So now I need to fix the hair a little bit. And we can also extend the hair outwards one block. I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier, but it's a lot better like this. So we can add some detail and make this look a lot more realistic. Because it is a statue after all. Boom! Now we could add some magenta wool just to spice it up. Let's add it all along her hair just like this. Perfect. Bam. And now we can add magenta wool all over her actual hair just just like this. I think this adds some really good detail that will be really good for her. And now we can also carve out her head a little bit so it looks more normal. Let's fix the back also. Just so it looks more like a human and less like a block. I'm also gonna make this back side more detailed a little bit. Accentuate these a lot more. And that is looking really good. Guys, how's the progress on your guys' statues? I'm done. Mine looks so cute. I'm almost done. That's just already done? Yep. You guys didn't add interiors or something. Clearly, you guys didn't put a lot of effort in. <laughs> what are you saying, Mia? <laughs> 
nothing. All right, whatever. Now we're looking good with the details. So what I'm going to do finally is I'm going to add a door. Let's add the door to the bottom. And now I don't need this reference. I don't want them thinking that I cheated or anything. So let's get rid of that. All right, now let's add a door right here. And we're going to speed run this interior. So first, let me get some oak slabs because I think Zoe likes cozier stuff more than modern stuff. So let's go like this. Let's add oak slabs all along this right here. We're going to make a spiral staircase going up her. Now you can go up here and now we can go like this. Now let's get rid of all the unnecessary blocks. We got to make sure that this is all hollow and that we can utilize the most spaces we possibly can. And I think we can probably break down this area over here to make some more space as well. Oh, this is genius! Uh, all right, I'm going to continue hollowing things out. Let me get a wand and cut this right here. And then now we have a fully hollow area right here that we could use to work with. So now let me get some oak planks and let's just fill this whole place up with oak slabs right here just to make this place look more uniform. That looks a lot better. And now let me extend the staircase all the way up here. Okay, perfect. And now I could fill up this area. I don't think we need this area, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Done. Now we're going to need a couch right here. This is going to be Zoe's living room, so we're going to place a sofa. Let's make that magenta. And then let's think. I want to put a bunch of paintings in here just to spice it up. And I'm going to put some of these special paintings right here. Like this one, this one, and this one. And I think Zoe likes art, so I'm also going to place some easels everywhere. Place one right here, and then one right here. And then lastly, some more paintings along the side, just like this. This. Boom! Uh, look, we have the gorilla. Let me change that one. Alright, perfect. And then now, let me get some ladders and let's move on to the head. I'm pretty sure this area is pretty done. I don't have to add too many details because the outside pretty much seals the deal. But anyways, now we can move on to the head. And let's fully hollow this thing out. Alright, it looks like it's hollowed out. So now, we're gonna have to place the top right here. So let's fill all this in with some pink wool. And this is gonna be Zoe's treasure station where she has all her treasure! So let's go get some amethyst right here. Let's place amethyst all over. Perfect. Now I can place some amethyst shards as well. Or clusters. And we can scatter this all around. All right, now I'm gonna place a chest and this is where their valuables will be. All right, bam! I think now we are done. Zoe's statue has been completed. This looks absolutely amazing. Check this out! From the outside, whoa. All right, guys, I'm done and I'm ready. Oh, perfect. All right, how about we go from left to right? So let's go to Zoe's first. Okay, come on. And it looks like Zoe built me. Look, it's you. Is everyone here? Yep. I'm here. Oh, gosh. What the heck is this? I turned you into a jelly bean. Hold on. I think we need to get shady. Zoe, I'm a jelly bean? Mm -hmm. But come on. If you go inside, I did a parkour. All right. Wait. We got to wait for shady. Zoe, what is this? This is terrible. It's not terrible. Wait, where's shady? You're looking at the wrong one, dude. Shady's looking at the wrong build. Shady can't even see. Why do you still have the blindfold on? Hang on. I'm sensing there's an Among Us imposter here. How do you know? Okay, that way this looks more like an imposter than a jelly bean. But it still looks like you, though. All right, let's go down. Let's see what she built in here. Ah! Oh, Zoe built lava parkour! And wait, why is there ghost box here? <laughs> That's a surprise. Oh, my gosh. Okay, go, Cash, go. Let's see if this parkour is any difficult. Uh, it was pretty difficult for me. Really, Zoe? Zoe, this is not difficult at all. I'm not gonna... Ow! Okay, but you fell on it. <laughs> And if you come here... She is already sleeping here! Uh, Cash, you might want to come up here. I'm on my way. Cash, what in the world is this? Why is Shady's bed next to your bed? I am not putting my bed there. No, 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 no. That did not happen, right? That did not happen. No, nothing happened, Shady. All right, let's go outside. Guys, how do we want to rate Zoe's build of me? Mid out of 10. This is a good build, Zoe. It was hard. I would say a solid mid out of 10. So we, we think it a 5 out of 10? Give it a 6. That parkour was tough. 6 out of 10. Let's go! Tell me you, I'll take it. Oh, Shady. Why is Shady changing it? Shady, you broke the side. All right, done. Oh, yay! Shady cannot see right now. I don't know what he's saying. Okay, time to show you guys my build. Whoa. It's Zoe! Oh, it looks so cute. Look how good this Zoe statue looks, guys. That's actually pretty good. Let me show you around. So come inside. Right here, the entrance is you gotta walk all the way up. Okay. And we have a living room right here where Zoe could draw. And she has art supplies and stuff. Okay, bougie. And then at the very top, right up here, we have Zoe's storage room where she has all her amethyst. Okay, but where does she sleep? Yeah, where's my bedroom? Uh, uh, oh gosh. Do you really expect her to sleep on these hard rocks, Nico? Yeah, you tell him. Oh gosh. Really, bro? You need to get her a $200 Ulta gift card immediately. Oh gosh, I'm sorry, Zoe. You know what? This is getting a five now. Sorry. Dang. Five. Oh, gosh, she's always ahead of me. Okay, Cash, it's time for yours. Here we go. Who built this one? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wait, why is there money here? What is in the back? Because it's Cash. Wait, what is in the back? He's got a dumpy. Ow! I'm not looking at that. How did I get there? I Wait, this actually looks really good, Mia. What the heck? Why do I have fire on my arms? Wait, let me look inside. Is there anything? Oh, there's nothing in the inside. Oh, no interior. I look like a superhero. Did you paint lipstick on his mouth? I didn't know what else to do. 
<laughs> All right. That is not on Cash's skin. Come over here. Cash, when did you get those fiery arms? Oh, she got the fire, right? You know what? Why do I have buns? Cash, you got to rate it. It's your build. I think it's pretty good. She got the firearms accurate. I give it a 7.5. 7.5? Oh, gosh. Which means that Cash likes his statue the most out of all of us. Wow. Mia's going to love hers. <laughs> all right. Mia, wait. How did Shady build this blindfolded? Shady, you built it off the plot. What? What is that? Yo, what are those eyeballs? Okay, wait. What is this? Oh my gosh, this is insane. What happened to her neck? It's the Psycho Mia. Ooh. No. Shady, props for creativity. I accidentally built it outside of the plot because I couldn't see. You built this all blindfolded? Yeah, and then I used Braille to speak to the miner. What is she holding right here? Wait, this actually looks really good. Lipstick? Yeah, it looks like a lipstick. I don't know. No, no, you are not. Shady. Aw, Mia is so nice. Mia, what are you rating it? Thank you, Mia. 10 out of 10? Mia, what do you rate it? I rate it. Aw, thank you, Mia. Shady! What's going on? Mia rates it. No, I don't think Mia likes her build. All right. It's terrible. Here's mine. All right. Bro, build me transparently. This is Shady's statue. I think Cash took this from Google. No, I didn't. What do you mean? Yes, you did. I didn't take anything from Google. Cash, you know that this transparent back end is supposed to be a PNG. Oh, so I wasn't supposed to put that there? What is that right there? Oh, that was the inspiration. Ow! I didn't take nothing. Uh, Cash. What? This is definitely not original. What do you mean? It's totally original. That is literally copied from the transparent background. The checker mark pattern was cool. He copied this guy right here. What? Ah! No, I did not. I don't know. We have Shady. We got... Oh, what the heck is that, Mia? Shady wins the creativity point. Oh, yeah. Wait, Shady. I have to rate Shady. Okay. One second. What the heck? Shady, just rate yourself. I'll give it a calm little 7 out of 10. It's pretty solid. And that means that... Mia, you win! Yes, yes, yes. I've never won before. You built the best statue out of everyone. Good job, Mia. She got the firearms right. Wait, 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 wait. What's the score on this one? Hold on. Let me go change my score real quick. Wait, wait. You can't do that, Shady. You can't. Hang on, guys. All right, there we go. And that means Shady wins! No! Oh, yeah! Let's go! If you want to watch more Nico Catch Adventures, the cool one on the screen. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe! Bye, guys. Subscribe. Bye! Bye.